right, good morning everyone. Um, my name is Marguerite, I'm here with Liam. And today is a very exciting day on Mobula. They're busy darting um, wild dogs that were seen for the first time yesterday on the property and then they were spotted this morning again. So we'll just give you a little bit more information on what's happening, why they're doing it, and we'll get you some nice close-ups of these two wild dogs. It's been truly amazing week on Mobula Private Game Reserve. We got a report early one morning that there was a confirmed wild dog sighting in the central part of the reserve. One of the Mobula guides managed to spot the dogs and also get a couple of photographs of the dogs. Unfortunately, the, the visual was brief and uh, they couldn't regain a visual later on. Uh, went out there and confirmed that there were indeed two dogs looking at the tracks. However, we were very unsure about the, the origin of the dogs. Luckily, 25 hours later, the guys managed to locate the dogs again, still pretty much in the central part of the reserve. And this time, fortunate enough, in a in a wonderful open area, in a, in a big plain, uh, the guys followed the dogs and eventually these dogs bumped into two male cheetahs, a collision of two males that just took down uh, an adult villabous cow. The dogs spend the next hour with these with these cheetahs, trying to intimidate them to leave the kill and to scavenge. However, the cheetahs stood their ground. There was great interaction between these two predators. And in the meantime, this allowed us to contact the EWT, our regional coordinator, Derek van der Merwe. He managed to get in, in touch with our, our local vet and they decided to collar one of these dogs. They made quick work of, of getting a collar on site. Our vet, Andy Fraser, arrived on site uh, very quickly after letting him know about the dogs being here. He did a wonderful job of darting both the dogs, which allowed him the opportunity to take genetic samples as well as give them a quick medical and, and also administer some vaccinations. Uh, he's happy with the health. Luckily, one of the dogs were collared and we then determined that these dogs originate from the, from the Tuli All Days Pack. The last time uh, that this collar worked was in January 2021 and the uplink was in the in the all days area. So it's been an amazing journey for these dogs. In the direct line, it's probably about 350 kilometers from their current location. Uh, these two dogs are, are two male dogs, around about three years old, and they dispersal dogs. This is what they do and, and uh, we're very fortunate and privileged to have them on the reserve. Uh, three days later, they're still, they're still around. They, they covering great distances in the process but yeah we've been fortunate enough to, to gain visual of them every now and then it's been a wonderful collaboration between the endangered wildlife trust Mapula private game reserve and the waterberg wild dog initiative we hopefully will be able to monitor these dogs it's very important uh, for the, the uh, ewt that manages this meta population of wild dogs to keep track of them and to monitor their movements unbelievable that they've survived being true free roaming dogs in Limpopo uh, that also cross borders into Botswana and hopefully with this nearly fitted collar they'll be able to do so and so stand a better chance of securing their future and their survival. It's important to also create community awareness and that's why the Waterbrook Wildlife Initiative is there and uh, they're spending a lot of time in the vicinity and in the area letting farmers know about these dogs. These two male dogs are in incredibly good condition, wonderful specimens and, and wonderful to have the genetics dispersed so far. Hopefully these dogs will be able to eventually settle down and become part of a, of a resident pack to retain the genes in this meta population, all managed by the EWT uh, and their condition. And yeah, we're just about ready to, to start waking them up. From there, hopefully the dogs will stay in the vicinity. The dogs are sticking around the reserve. There was once again a sighting of them this morning, allowing our guests a wonderful opportunity of spotting these incredible predators in their natural environment. This is a great effort between EWT, Recru, the Waterberg Wild Dog Initiative and Mabula to collaborate in order to try as much as we can to secure the future and the survival of these free roaming dogs in the Limpopo province.